What's up guys, this is GTFan712 back with another sneaker review video and this time it's a new colorway of the Nike Flyknit Trainer. This is the Bright Crimson colorway which is listed as white, bright crimson, and tarp green and retails at $150. Now let's get into the shoe. On the lateral side, the knit upper blends gray and bright crimson, which is a color very similar to infrared. The upper is solid gray near the heel and mixes in with bright crimson at the toe. At the midfoot, there is a sprayed on white swoosh, as well as white fly wire coming up from the sole. The midsole is white and gray with a stripe of bright crimson. The medial side of the shoe, unlike the original colorways of the Flyknit Trainer, is symmetrical to the lateral side. At the back of the shoe, you'll notice the gray knit upper on both the lateral and medial sides of the shoe, which are separated by a bright crimson heel pull tab, which is accented by strips of reflective 3M. Below, you'll find the white, gray, and bright crimson accented midsole. At the top of the shoe, you can better see the knit gray and bright crimson upper. The fly wire rises to compose the eyelets, which hold bright crimson ribbon laces over a bright crimson knit tongue. At the top of the tongue is a bright crimson Nike Flyknit Trainer tongue tag. The insole is bright crimson with a Nike Plus logo at the midfoot. Lastly, here on the outsole, you can see the mixed black and white outsole, with the white portions being visible foam cushioning. And that will wrap up the review portion of this video. I'll show you guys some detailed shots of the shoes now, and then I'll lace them up, and we'll see how they look on feet. And that will wrap up this review of the Nike Flyknit Trainer in the bright crimson colorway. This underrated colorway is still available in a full-size run over on NikeStore.com, so if you're interested in a pair, click the link in the description below. Until next time, just stay tuned to my channel for even more quick looks and video reviews of shoes I have in my collection, as well as pickups I'll be getting in the future. But until then, this has been GTFan712. Thanks for watching.